I'm Roel Aquino, and I will be this afternoon's webinar host. On behalf of Redenta Technologies Incorporated, we thank you for joining us today. This webinar is hosted by Redenta Technologies Incorporated in partnership with Microsoft and Duga. Through this webinar, we will introduce solutions to enhance your collaborating experience. For our first time attendees of the webinar, I would like to give you a brief background of who Redenta is. Redenta is a solutions integrator helping its client with their digital transformation journey. We offer 360 IT transformation to solve organizations challenges through leveraging an industry leading technologies, integration of grown solutions and professional services. These have leave footprints of diverse industry ranging from telco, media and entertainment, education, banking and finance, government and of course small and business small and medium businesses. Today we are about to learn some of our digital digital teaching solutions starting from Office 365, Duga apps, Power apps, device leasing program and showcase school program. Activities will occur in the middle and after the presentation. So without further ado, let's start with the Office 365. Is your school ready for digital transformation? Mostly everyone is asking what teaching is like during the pandemic. Did you cope up with the changing needs of your school or institution? Let's face it, the entire world collapses when pandemic hits us and almost all of the industry was affected. Some managed to continue, but most decided to close and give up their business. My next question is, are you willing to give up? Change is inevitable to us with technology. But what if I tell you there's a way to combine the current platforms of your school with the technologies and solution available in the market? This webinar entitled Digital Teaching and Learning App what's next in the post pandemic era will feature some of our full collaborating solutions and tools. And through this webinar, we will help you learn how we can integrate different IT solutions so we can transform your schools into a pandemic proof institution that can and will run amidst any changes. My name is Roel Aquino, a business development officer of Redenta Technologies Incorporated and is responsible in handling schools for education sector. So without further ado, let's start with Office 365. Let's learn more about the Office 365. But before we dive in, I would love to learn a little bit about your familiarity of Office 365 apps and your confidence in using them. As you can see on the screen, there these are the common applications that we normally use in the Office 365. We have the Excel, the PowerPoint, and the Word. So Office 365 dashboard. Your Microsoft account lets you manage everything in one place. Keep tabs on your subscription and order history. Organize your family's digital life. Update your privacy and security settings. Track the health and safety of your device and get rewards. Everything stay with you in the cloud and across devices, including iOS and Android. Get to the people, the content, entertainment that matters to you most with your Microsoft account. One account, all things Microsoft. So once you log into your Microsoft account, you will see this app launcher where you can have a quick access to different Office app. So some of you a while ago mentioned that you are or they are familiar with the Word, the Excel, and the PowerPoint. But what if I tell you that aside from those typical apps of Microsoft, there are other apps included in the Microsoft 365 productivity suites that can help and greatly contribute in your teaching. Allow me to introduce to you this promising apps and let's start with the OneDrive. Have you ever imagined misplacing one of your very important files in your school? and don't know where to locate it? Or have you tried using a universal serial bus or what we call the USB to store content in order to bring and access it anywhere? 
If so, then I would like to introduce to you the OneDrive of Microsoft, where all the resources are kept in one go. So what is OneDrive? OneDrive is a web-based application that is used to save documents and other files in the cloud, share with friends, and even collaborate on content. When you subscribe to the Microsoft 365, you will get one terabyte of storage and premium one terabyte features. OneDrive for Work or School is online storage for work or school organization. So to get to OneDrive, all you need to do is to just sign into your Microsoft 365 or to your SharePoint site with your work or school account. At the top of the page, select the app launcher and then select OneDrive. The navigation area is similar to Windows File Explorer, where files can be drag and drop around, or the buttons can be used to create files and upload existing documents to OneDrive. And uh, this is the main OneDrive navigation screen, which is accessed from a web browser. The navigation interface will resemble Windows File Explorer. The left pane will include a link to my files and other shortcuts. The shared library area will contain various Microsoft Teams folder. So how to upload a document or file in OneDrive? In order to upload OneDrive, to OneDrive, all you need to do is just click on the upload button on the upper right corner, locate the file on your computer that you want to upload to your OneDrive, click and drag the file to the OneDrive folder, and the file will appear on your OneDrive. Now you can have access that file anywhere by signing into your OneDrive account. Next is uh, sharing via OneDrive. So there are two ways to share files on OneDrive. First way is to sh the share button. The share button will with specific people. Choose this option if you want to send an email invitation to people or groups and keep track of who invited. This also let you remove permission of for specific individuals or group later if you need to. And the second option is um, the copy link. Choose this option to share items with lots of people you might not even know personally. For example, if you use this link to post to Facebook, Twitter or LinkedIn or share in an email or message. Anyone who gets link can view or edit the item depending on the permission you set. Users with the link cannot upload any items. Keep in mind that the link can only be forwarded and signed in. This is not required. So no more attachments in the email. Just send them the link of the content and collaboration starts. Real time collaboration in Word. So when someone shares a Word document with you, the email you receive includes a link that opens the document in your web browser. So as you can see, um, in this on the screen, you can see that there are two people who's collaborating in one document. And lastly, commenting on peers' work. You can add comments to your own files or that others have shared if they have given your edit permission on the file. You can also reply to comments that you or other people have left. So this, this is very useful, especially when collaborating with a team or group of people in order to give suggestions and ideas that will make the project much better. So in a nutshell, OneDrive will serve as your digital folder and file cabinet where you can safely store and access your teaching materials anytime and anywhere. Say, for example, you are a teacher and the meron kang workload nagsumong tapusin within the day and you want to continue that sa bahay instead. So as a teacher before, you only have two options. Either print that materials and revise it at home and then once you get back to school, reprint that final copy again, which is a bit hassle, correct? And the second option before is to use a USB to store and access it sa bahay, but the tendency is the file might, might get corrupted and you will end up doing the work from scratch again. But with OneDrive, anywhere, anytime, you can securely store, edit, and access your materials 
with just a click of a mouse and an internet connection. So now, let me ask you a question and please internalize this. Think of this as an assignment. How can OneDrive help you as a teacher in school? So there you go, that's the first not commonly known application of Microsoft 365 that is very important and beneficial to you as an educator. Now, let's move on to the second application, which is which can also provide a great impact in your teaching. Have you ever tried missing a very important event of the school because you failed to check the announcement on the physical bulletin? Or were you tasked to replace the school bulletin's theme, memo, announcement, decoration and all, because next month will be Buwan ng Wika from last month's science festival? Well then, I would like to introduce to you the SharePoint of Microsoft. As businesses look for new ways to collaborate and stay connected, Microsoft SharePoint has steadily grown in popularity over the past decade. So what is a SharePoint? SharePoint is a web-based secure file sharing and collaboration platform that integrates with Microsoft Office and 365. It is used by businesses to access, share, organize, and store company data from any devices. So it is a great way to keep all your employees connected no matter how distributed your workforce may be. So regardless if it's teaching or non-teaching staff, they both can collaborate in one place. Simplified collaboration, simplified company-wide collaboration. So one of the most significant benefits of Microsoft SharePoint is simplified collaboration across the entire team. Users are greeted with shared home screens, folders and files, applications, company resources, and popular links based on the business unit or group of team membership. So collaboration in SharePoint is simple and powerful. Documents are stored on SharePoint and can be edited simu simultaneously by multiple users. So instead of sending versions of work back and forth through email, SharePoint members edit the document together and no need to email thing. So those are just the basic benefits of SharePoint. Now, if you're looking on how we can get the most out of SharePoint, the next few slides will give you a glimpse on how to reinvent the internet with solutions for collaboration, communication, engagement, and knowledge management. Today, it is simple for any user to create beautiful, fast sites and pages that looks great on any devices or screen with the use of SharePoint. So Microsoft has crafted three SharePoint site templates to help school leaders inform and engage their students, educators, and staff. These templates, including a school homepage, a staff homepage, and a class homepage, will get you started with the power of Microsoft, uh, Microsoft SharePoint and can be used with the Microsoft Themes experience. Plus, this look and great on any devices so students and educators can use them on the go. So let's take a look at each of these beautiful templates. Let's start with the school homepage. So this is a SharePoint communication site designed to be your school's internet homepage. So it's like a website for your school. The school homepage serves as the place where your students and educators can stay up to date on school events and use access resources and more. So no more physical bulletin. All you just have to do is to create a school homepage for your school. Next is the staff homepage. This template serves as a time-saving home based for a team of staff members. Staff members can find links to resources, highlighted documents and news. This template is designed to use with a staff team or professional learning community theme in Microsoft Teams. So this is basically for teachers um, collaborating with each other. And the last one is the class homepage. This template serves as an engaging home based on a class, so students can find links to resources, highlighted documents, and class events. 
This template is designed to be used with a class team in Microsoft Teams. So there you go. This is the Microsoft SharePoint. So now, to sum it up, SharePoint can be used as your digital bulletin for school announcement, calendar and events, storage, and a place for collaboration too. So instead of relying to the old school physical type of bulletin board, let's now transform it in a digital way. Now, let me ask you again a question and please internalize this. Think of this again as an assignment. How can SharePoint help your student and staff meet their different needs? Next, let's move on to the third application, not commonly application of Microsoft 365 that is very important and beneficial to, to you as a teacher or educator. Have you ever encountered running out of page in your physical notebook? Then let me introduce to you the OneNote of Microsoft. What is OneNote? In OneNote, in OneNote notebook never run out of paper. Notes are easy to organize, print and share, and you can search and find important information quickly, even if you forget where your original captured it. Best of all, notebooks are stored online so you can easily get to them on any of your mobile devices. So in one note class notebook, each class notebook is organized into three areas. We have student notebooks, content library, and collaboration space. For a student notebook, it is a private notebook shared between the teachers and the student only. The student cannot see the student notebook of other students and the teacher, while well, the teacher can see the student notebook of all of its students. For content library, it is a read-only notebook where teachers can share handouts to its students. Students can only read and teachers can read and write to the content library. And the third area is the collaboration space where all can share, organize, and collaborate. Let me just provide you uh, some of the content that you can actually embed in your one notebook. So here are some of the content that you can actually embed in your one notebook. You can actually provide or in, um, attach videos from YouTube, a 3D content from Sketchpad, uh, an interactive ge geometry, algebra, statistics, and calculus application, and a GeoBra and a lot more. Now I'm going to ask you Question again, how can online, how can OneNote empower students and engage different types of learners? How would students benefit? So these are the three typical, not commonly known application of Microsoft 365 that we think can greatly help you with you as a teacher and an educator.